हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द लिमिटिंग रीजेंट लिमिटिंग रीजेंट इज द सबस्टेंस व्हिच फिनिश फास्ट इन द केमिकल रिएक्शन एंड एक्सेस रीजेंट इज द रीजेंट व्हिच इज लेफ्ट रिमेनिंग आफ्टर द केमिकल रिएक्शन फर्स्टली वी हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज लिमिटिंग रीजन तो वी टेक देयर एन एग्जांपल फॉर एग्जांपल यू आर मैन्युफैक्चरिंग ए कार एंड इन ए कार वी हैव थ्री यूनिट्स बॉडीज टायर एंड इंजन इन योर कार यू आर मेकिंग डेली इन योर फैक्ट्री हंड्रेड बॉडीज टेन थाउजेंड टायर्स एंड फाइव इंजन हाउ मेनी कार्स यू विल प्रोड्यूस टे आंसर इज फाइव Why? Because engine is five, and uh, 95 bodies are remaining. If, for example, one car will take four tires, then only 20 tires will be used. Others are remaining. So these are excess regions, and this is limiting. These things we will explain with. more examples in chemistry now for example we have the reaction h2 plus cl2 changes to twice h2 if we have 5 mole and 6 mole of chlorine what will happen it's after the reaction if time is zero then its quantity is net zero after the completion okay so 5 mole h2 will react with 6 mole of cl2 to 5 mole react with 5 mole of chlorine so this is not present and after the reaction 1 mole of chlorine is present and 5 moles 1 mole 2 mole then 5 moles 10 mole of hcl is present so this is a was one simplest example we can take one more example in which we will consider the amounts and their how they will react with each other here we have three cases in which hydrogen reacts with oxygen and forms water so in first case we have 4 moles of hydrogen 8 moles of oxygen here 10 moles of hydrogen 5 moles of oxygen here 20 moles of hydrogen and 8 mole of oxygen so what will happen so we have to consider first ki here four two moles reacts with one mole of oxygen two moles reacts with one mole okay So four moles will react with it. Two moles, okay. So six moles of oxygen is remaining after the reaction. So here hydrogen is the limiting agent. This is Nr. This will finish first in the chemical reaction. So after the reaction. this one is not present 6 mole of this one is present and calculation based on limiting reagent so 2 moles 2 moles 4 moles 4 mole of water will be formed in second case we have 20 mole of hydrogen and 8 mole of oxygen so for x 20 mole we need here 10 mole but we have 8 mole so oxygen is limiting reagent here so oxygen is limiting reagent so all the calculation will be based on oxygen now so its quantity is after the reaction cross
what about one mole two moles react with two mole of hydrogen so eight mole react with six mole of 16 moles of hydrogen so four mole of this one is remaining and one mole two mole is formed and eight moles 16 moles of water will be formed after the reaction so in this case lr is oxygen limiting reagent is oxygen and what happen in third case here two mole react with one mole ten mole react with five mole so both will be in limiting ratio so after the reaction this one is cross this one is cross and ten moles of h2o is formed so 10 moles of H2O is formed. So in case we can say no LR, no limiting reagent or both are limiting reagent. How can we work out about the limiting reagent? What is the limiting reagent here? So we have one simplest formula for how to work out the limiting reagent. We will divide number of moles divided by stoichiometry. coefficient the substance which have less number of this ratio that is limiting ratio so least ratio is limiting ratio. so apply try to apply on this here so here ratio is 4 divided by 2 in this case that is equals to 2 here 8 divided by 1 that is equals to 8 so this is the least so it is LR try to apply here here 20 divided by 2 then it is 10 here 8 divided by 1 that is equals to 8 so 8 is less so it is LR in this case 10 is divided by 2 that is equals to 5 5 divided by 1 that is equals to 5 both are equal so both are no LR or both are LR ok so both of the substance will be finished after the reaction in this case now we will take more example in which we have given the mass for mass we first need to convert them into moles and then moles divided by stoichiometric coefficient and which is the least ratio that substance will be limiting the end on the basis of that thing we will we will calculate the calculate the moles then we convert moles into mass so in this way we will do these types of questions so in this question we have 100 gram of carbon which reacts with 100 gram of chlorine and how much carbon tetrachloride is present and how much excess reagent left unreacted this is the question we need to do so firstly we will write a balanced chemical equation carbon plus chlorine that is equals to carbon tetrachloride 2 will be there and its mass is 100 gram that is 100 gram number of moles 100 divided by 12 100 divided by 71 chlorine atomic mass is 35.5 and number of moles divided by stoichiometric coefficient so 100 divided by 12 for carbon here 100 divided by 71 into 2 so this is least 
so this is L R and this is accelerated. So in this reaction, carbon is accelerated and chlorine is limiting reagent. So all the calculation will be based on chlorine. Or after the reaction, chlorine will be finished. This will remain in and carbon tetrachloride. So two moles form one moles. Two moles of carbon tetrachloride forms two moles of chlorine. Forms is equals to. One mole. Okay, so one mole of chlorine will form one by two moles of carbon tetrachloride, and hundred by seventy-one. And these calculations, don't put it here. Put this one again thing here. So that will equals to one by two into hundred by seventy-one. So mass of CCl4 is equals to 1 by 2 into 100 by 71 into 12 plus 35.5 into 4. So that will be, will be your answer. Okay, that will be your answer. So now. We have to calculate the mass of remaining carbon. So carbon reacted carbon. Firstly, we will react, calculate the reacted carbon. So two moles of chlorine reacts with. Carbon is equals to one mole, and one mole of chlorine react with one by two mole, and then hundred by seventy one will react with one by two into hundred by seventy one, and mass of reacted carbon is equals to one by two into hundred divided by seventy one into twelve, mass of Unreacted carbon is equals to one by two or hundred minus one by two into hundred divided by seventy one into twelve. That will equals to ninety five point five six gram. That is your answer. In this question, we have lithium twenty gram. It reacts with oxygen thirty gram. Which is the limiting reagent? Which is the excess reagent? And how much grams of lithium oxide will be formed? And which excess is how many grams in excess? We need to work out with these things. So firstly, we will make a chemical equation: lithium plus oxygen changes to lithium oxide. So for oxygen, we put it two. Here, we put it four. So it is twenty gram. It is thirty gram. Okay, so num converting number of moles that is twenty divided by seven. That is thirty divided by thirty-two. Now number of moles divided by stoichiometric coefficient. This is twenty by seven into one by four. This is thirty divided by thirty-two into one. So this is least. So this is L. So all the calculation will be based on this one. So two moles, of, uh, four moles of Li. Will form Li2O is equal to two mole. Then one mole will be two by four, and we have 
ट्वेंटी बाई सेवन टू बाई फोर इंटू ट्वेंटी बाई सेवन नाउ वी दिस इज इन मोल्स सो मास ऑफ एल आई टू ओ विल बी फॉर्म इज इक्वल टू टू बाई फोर इंटू ट्वेंटी बाई सेवन इंटू लिथियम सेवन इंटू टू प्लस सिक्सटीन दैट कैलकुलेशन विल बी इक्वल टू फोर्टी टू पॉइंट एट फाइव फाइव ग्राम आंसर Now we have to work out how much oxygen in the excess. Oxygen in the excess is it? So firstly, what we will do? We know four moles of lithium reacts with oxygen is equal to one mole. So one mole of lithium will react with oxygen. One by four mole and twenty by seven. Will react with oxygen. One by four into twenty by seven. So mass of reacted oxygen is equal to one by four into twenty by seven into thirty-two. Remaining oxygen is equal to Your thirty minus one by four into twenty by seven into thirty two. That will be equal to seven point one four two gram. Answer. Yes. In the third question, we have equal masses of zinc and iodine. They react and they form. एंड क्वेश्चन इज दिस वन दैट विच इज लिमिटिंग रीजेंट एंड हाउ मच परसेंटेज ऑफ लिमिटिंग रीजेंट एक्सिस रीजेंट इज रिमेन एक्सिस रीजेंट इज हाउ मच रिमेन इन दिस क्वेश्चन सो लेट इट बी हंड्रेड ग्राम दिस इज ऑल्सो हंड्रेड ग्राम ओके एंड जिंक एटॉमिक मास 65.4 आयोडीन इज इक्वल टू आयोडीन इज इक्वल टू 127 सो हियर नंबर ऑफ मोल्स हंड्रेड डिवाइड बाय 65.4 पॉइंट फोर हेयर नंबर ऑफ मोल्स हंड्रेड डिवाइड बाय टू फिफ्टी फोर आयोडीन आई टू सो इट्स मॉलिकुलर मास इज टू फिफ्टी फोर so iodine is lr limiting reagent so all the calculation will be based on iodine so one mole react with one mole so reacted moles of zinc is equals to 100 divided by 254 and mass of Reacted zinc is equals to hundred divided by two fifty four into sixty five point four. So remaining zinc is equals to hundred minus hundred divided by two fifty four into sixty five point four. That will Be equals to seventy five point seventy four point two five. That is your answer. 